look at that. Car stopping. Oh, look at the size of this tail, guys. You ready to see the sea monster? Hey guys, this is Monster Mike and you're watching Monster Mike Fishing. Hey guys, welcome to Monster Mike Fishing. I'm Monster Mike. And I'm Brian, the CEO. As you guys see uh, on the channel, we've caught a lot of grass carp. Today, what are we gonna do, Mike? We're gonna show you how to catch grass carp here in South Florida. Yep, we're gonna give you some of our tips and secrets on how we land these big monsters. All right, guys, it's time to uh, bait up. This is how I catch these big grass carps here in South Florida. Let's go. All right, guys, so I like to use a half a slice of bread. Hide the hook just like that. And I like to flatten it out because the grass carps, they come on top of the water sometimes and they eat on top. So you want your bread to float. Some people they'll ball it up, but then it sinks down to the bottom so fast and then the carp won't see it. Flatten it just like that. You gotta cast gently so you don't fling the bread off your hook. Before Mike cast out, I'm gonna announce the trivia winner from the last video and it's Miami Finn Slayer. Congrats, you got all the questions right. And I wanna give a little side shout out to Jeremiah Gabriel for watching all of our videos. Thank you, man. I really appreciate you, buddy. Remember guys, there's another trivia question coming up at the end of this video. So if you want a chance to win a shout out, comment the answers below and Mike and I'll pick another winner for the next video. Can't make that much noise because carps are really spooky fish. Pass just like that and then you don't want the carp to feel any pressure of the line so I'll just let the line keep the bail open because when they grab it they're gonna look 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 because when they grab it they're gonna just run with it there's other fish that are attacking the bread but that's good because it lets the carp know that there is a <gasps> see the carp just got it you you give it to him like this a little bit and then you Oh, oh, close, close, oh, close. Okay, okay, okay. I think okay. the bread came off first. Okay, okay. Oh right. my so God. sometimes when the smaller fish hit the bread, it'll break the bread apart and uh, it'll come off the hook before the carp actually eats he, it. He did it? He just destroyed it. He didn't feel the hook. So he didn't feel the hook. But look, already that was that was a massive fish. So there we go. Let's do this again. There you go. And the other thing that's important, guys, is when it's when you put the bread into the water. Oh, it already got eight. Never mind. I'll come back to that idea. So I'm gonna let the carp grab it for a little bit. Let me see. He's on. He's on. Now you have to just give him a good hook set. There it is. Oh. The third time's a charm. When we cast the bread into the water. Like Mike said earlier, you want the line to be loose. Yeah. Um, the goal is to have the bread drifting at the same speed as the current because to the carp, it's gonna look like a natural piece of grass or weed sitting on top of the water, leaves, fruit, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. um, so if it's moving too fast or it's jerking or it's not moving with the current, they know it's not food and uh, they won't hit it. So let's do this again. Got another piece of bread, guys. A carp already ripped me or it could have been another fish. Let's go again. Cast out. Whoop. Nice. When you think of minnows, you picture these small little fish, but grass carp, they're minnows too. Now the carp here, they're not native to Miami or South Florida. Uh, they were brought in to actually control invasive plant species like hadrilla. We have some Asian grass carp and we have common grass carp. But many of the grass carp that are caught here in South Florida are actually triploid grass carp. They are bred with a third chromosome that prevents them from reproducing. The largest triploid grass carp that was caught on record was 15 years old and it was 75 pounds. It was 56 inches long, so that thing was definitely bigger than Mike. If you want to see more videos like this and stay updated with the show, make sure you have your notifications on. It helps us and it helps you stay in touch with what we're doing. Guys, enjoy the rest of the show. All right, so as Mike was saying, we're gonna use a half a piece of bread. So I'm just gonna rip this in half. 
And we like the white bread simply because it is a little more doughy. So when we press it together, it sticks better. Um, some of the wheat breads and, and the other types of breads, when they hit the water, once they're folded, they'll open up. Or if the bread is too dry, it'll do the same thing. So you don't want the bread to open up like this when it hits the water, because the hook's gonna just fall out, you're not gonna catch a fish. Hey Brian, I saw some fish. You have anything that sinks? They're a little down deep. Yeah, you wanna do something a little different today though? Uh, yeah, I don't mind. What's that? Try a rooster tail. A rooster tail? Yeah, man. This is gonna work, bro? I think it'll work. A rooster tail? It's shiny, it makes noise, and it's got some treble hooks. I never used this before though. Nah, you just whip it in there, work it past the fish, you'll get a strike. All right, so what happened is when Mike hooked that first carp, basically the carp spooked very easily and they left that area. So we had to find another area to fish. Uh, Mike just, this, this guy is crazy with sight fishing. He just saw some fish moving down the bank and we're gonna hit him with that rooster tail. Well, Mike's gonna hit him with that rooster tail. I'm gonna hit him with this rooster tail. <laughs> so I'm sight fishing with my nine optics. That's how I see all these fish in the water if you're wondering how I see all these fish in the water. Now I know how he sees all these fish in the water. Watch out for the canal roosters. Canal roosters. Oh, look at that. And we're on. Watch out for that trampoline. Can't get too close to the edge. Flip or die. Flip or die. Look at that. Oh, guys, on the rooster tail, first cast. Beautiful, look, beautiful. And I didn't, and I didn't really think that this rooster tail was gonna work, but what happened is I casted it and he hit it. Nice. On the rooster tail. Beautiful. All right, we moved to another spot, but we're trying to dodge the rain. It keeps raining on us and it's too windy. So yeah. you know. So we're gonna we're gonna try one more spot, see yeah. if we can get a carp. But if not, you know, I'll hit you with some highlights. Alright, so we hit a couple spots, but we can't quite get away from the rain. And uh <sighs> I don't feel like filming in the rain today, so uh, I'm gonna hit you guys with some highlights oh, yeah. of some giant carp whew, that this man has caught. Big boys. Using the same technique that you saw earlier. Check these out. Bro, I think you got a monster, mo like, like personal best maybe. Oh yeah. Action baby. Big fish. Oh, oh and the police. No, he's, 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 yeah, he's cool, right? That's what you were trying to catch? Yeah. Here. Okay. We get the peas all the time, so. Show the people out there. There we go. That dragon. Woo! Look at that. Car stopping. Yeah. Thank you. Woo! Nice. He just turned on it. Are they fighting over it? Did, they, did he just eat it? I think so. I'm on. Got it. Look at this. Look at the size of this tail, guys. You ready to see this sea monster? Look at this. With seaweed on him. That's a freaking toad. Alright. Look at this, guys. I'm gonna release him. Giant. Giant. Hunter. Hey, 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 you know, you guys, I know, you feel me. I'm looking at your bread. As soon as that bread gets plumped. Wait, 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 it's gone, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. Look at that, guys. And there we go. Ryan, your carp is officially landed, my friend. Maybe not yet. Half landed, half landed. <laughs> guys. We're just out here having, having a blast. That is a beast. Guys, comment below how much you think this thing weighs. This is a freaking silver giant in Miami. 
that Instagram snap wave right, right there. Okay, all right, you got it. You got. I know he's heavy. I know you. You know, hey, hey, guys. You know you got to get that Instagram uh, screenshot. And look, guys, catch and release. I got me another one of them giants. From the deep. He's got some energy in him. We out here carp fishing. Bent rods. Fishing on our day off. Oh yeah. Yay! And that's how we do it. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Um, we caught some big fish. Uh, and we, I showed you some highlights. And it's trivia time. Here's your chance to win a shout out in the next video. All you have to do is comment your answers below and we will pick one lucky winner. So let's go. Um, I don't have a singing voice like Mike, but I will go ahead and give you the questions. Trivia question number one. How many grass carp were landed in this video? Trivia question number two. What lure did Mike use to catch the peacock bass? And trivia question number three. What is Mike's favorite bait for carp fishing? Again, comment answers below. We'll pick one lucky winner. It might be you. And guys, I do a show called Angler Spotlight. All it is is me asking some questions to you and you guys sending me the videos with your responses and we're talking about fishing and that's it. Go ahead and hit me up on Instagram, at Brian the CEO. Shoot me a DM and I will tell you how to submit your footage to be featured on my channel. So uh, head on over, Brian the CEO. Guys, I look forward to hearing from you.